Okay guys, today we're gonna to be talking about a subject that's a little bit uh, uncomfortable for me to really say. So I I'm gonna ask you guys to help me along in this quest of explaining this story and my opinion on it. So we're talking about Abby and Brittany Hensel, uh, these two individuals who you're looking at right now, of course, you've probably seen them before somewhere on social media, somewhere on the internet, their pictures, because you're really not gonna see too many uh, Dysphalus twins. Is that how you say it? Dysphalus? Dysphalus twins, basically Siamese twins. Two heads, one body, right? Uh, if you don't know their story, uh, well, uh, right now they're both, I believe, about 34 years old, and they were born in 1990. And I first seen them on some TV show. I don't remember exactly which show. They were little girls at the time. So basically, uh, Abby, who's the one on the left, and Brittany, who's the one on the right, they were Siamese twins. Uh, when they were born, the doctor said, okay, told the mother what's going on. Now, originally the doctors, they did offer to separate them. However, there was no guarantee that they were going to live, that both were going to live, right? So the parents decided to keep them together. So basically, uh, each twin, of course, is their own person, but they share a body. So they each have their own heart. They have their own set of lungs. They have their own stomach, kidneys. However, they share a colon, a rectum, a bladder, and they share one set of reproductive organs. So they got one kitty cat, basically is what I'm saying. So other than them being Siamese twins, I've never really paid much attention to them or their lives. Now, I know they had some kind of a reality show uh, a few years back, I think it was only on for one season, just kind of showing their lives and, and, and whatever. But I didn't know this, and not, a lot of people didn't know this either. But uh, they had, they've been married. Well, one of them has been married, right? Uh, so Abby was married on November 13th, 2021. So the, uh, the husband... Uh, his name is Josh Bowling, and he's an army vet, and he works as a nurse. Okay, so he married Abby, which is the one on the left. So they had a wedding, they danced, and they want to have children. Now, Brittany's not married. She's still single, guys. So, yeah. Yeah. So they, they basically posted on their TikTok to um, to let everyone know about this. And they said, quote, if you don't like what I do, but watch everything I'm doing, you're still a fan. Posted to all of their haters. Now, honestly, I'm not really sure if there's anybody out there hating on them. If there is, you really need to get a life. I mean, you talk about two people that you would suspect that have absolutely no haters. It would be these girls. So they got married and I did not know this, but they're actually, they work. They're teachers. They live in Minnesota and they teach fifth grade. You might want to kind of stay away from this dog right here. So they teach fifth grade and, um, I don't know if each one of them gets paid separately or they get like one package. I'm going to guess they, they receive a salary. I, I don't know. I, I, that's that's kind of difficult. I mean, why would you want to pay two people? I don't know. Anyways, okay, moving along. So also the girls getting around... Um, pretty much Abby, who's on the right, she controls her right arm and her right leg. And then Brittany controls 
the left arm and the left leg. And yes, they, they both do have driver's licenses and they both had to take separate tests, even though I'm led to believe that they both cheated on each other, you know, cause I mean, come, you know, they're right there. So, <clears throat> so anyways, they both had to take, <laughs> they had to take two different driving tests to get their driver's license. So shout out to them. So when they drive, Abby controls the pedals and the gear shifter, and then Brittany does the blinkers and the lights. Very, very, so you got one leg doing the gas and the brake, and then the other leg stays still. They're both joined from their belly button down, um, and then it kind of goes into like one uniform body. Now, I, I have a question, right? I, I got a question. So my question is this. Can I walk up this hill without huffing and puffing? Because I'm very out of shape. Let's, let's give it a go. My question is this. First of all, I, I, I'm happy that, that Abby got married. I'm happy that she found love. I hope this is real. I hope that this isn't some kind of a um, fake story that they're trying to sell to the masses a la a certain two grifters that we all know and love. I question this guy's, um, like, why would he do this? Why would he marry her? Right? Is this real? Or is it not? As I traverse up this hill. But also, here's another thing that I, and I think we're all wondering we're all wondering is this a threesome when they when they when they tied the knot and they 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 went on their honeymoon and they solidified their marriage in the sancted the sanctuary of their bedroom right because don't get me wrong these girls are going to be just as horny as anybody else that has a at least a decent libido so when they have sex, I mean, basically what I want to say is, I gotta be, I gotta be very careful about how I word this, because I don't want to be in, insensitive to the feelings of Brittany or anybody else involved in the situation, which is basically just John, Abby, and Brittany. But uh, when they have sex, I, I'm just curious: is Brittany? along for the ride, so to speak. I mean, I don't think she has a choice. Is this considered a threesome? I don't know what's going on over here. Is Brittany gonna be jealous that Abby's getting attention or is Abby gonna get jealous if he shows Brittany any attention? How does this sex work is basically what I'm saying. And here's another question and I gotta, gotta tread lightly. I gotta tread lightly. Does he kiss Brittany or only kiss his wife, Abby? And guys, some of you might be thinking, and I was thinking this when I first seen this story. I said, well, why did he just marry both of them? It's illegal. You can't marry two people. You can only marry one. So, legally, he's married to Abby, but do we have an unspoken rule that basically it's all, it's all gravy train, right? We're all in this together, literally drawn together over here. I don't know. Now I'm pretty sure some of you um, people in the comment section will be uh, saying jokes and I'm not gonna silence your speech, but just a very odd story. But before I end the video, I just say I'm happy for the for Abby and for John. I guess I'm happy for Brittany too, in a sense. And maybe will she get married? Is there a man for her out there in the world? I don't know. So I made it up the hill, still a little out of breath, but not terrible, not terrible. Will they get a TV show? I'll watch it. 
Hell, why not? Cash in. Cash in, make as much money as you can, and, re and quit that stupid teaching job. Can you imagine what the classroom is like when she leaves to go to the bathroom and they start talking crap about her? Yeah, I don't know. All right, guys, I can go on and on, but uh, my phone's about to die. So I got to get out of here. That's Austin, downtown Austin, Texas, ahead of you. I got to get out of here. See you on the road. That's a cool looking house. Yeah, there's a lot of cool looking houses out here. All right, catch up with you later. Have a good one. Peace out.